okay guys today I'm going to show you how to get some data from your WooCommerce store and then to improve further to increase your sales okay this is the live statistic right now we have uh, online visitor we have four we have a total uh, for online visitor and then uh, what you can see here you see uh, the most product view this one is the most product view and then uh, and then you can see also the product page uh, is a uh, view by visitor is a uh, 74% so for, from this side uh, we can know a lot of the data from from here the add to chart is 7.8% uh, 7, 7 and then the checkout is 4.4 this one definitely we can do something and then you see the live visitor this one you, uh, you can see their IP address uh, this one is from me this one is my account uh, you can see their activity right now like for example this one the visitor they he, he, uh, he land on the home page and then he go to the classes uh, uh, category and then go to this one the chef category and then go to this one is another chef category so he is in interested into this particular uh, category product all the product the collection this one is all related and then you, you can see uh, what he already review go this product he already review this one this one and then right now he go to seafood okay he go to seafood and then this uh, let me show you another one uh, the previous one like for example okay let me pull pull down for example this one this one the visitor land on this product page immediately so what we know from this data is uh, this product page actually rank well in Google so we can go into our Google search control and Google Analytics to compare the data here uh, uh, to compare the data there so this one uh, basically what I will do is I will go into my Google search control and then filter this page to check all the keywords rank there and then I will proceed from there I will do some more on page SEO work or maybe build some links I will find all those keywords in page 2 page 3 and then push it harder to page uh, to the top 10 position and then for this example let me show you he, he did add this item into chart and then he did review another item you see this item is related so I think it's a cross selling or from the related product from this page so he, he go to this one and then he go to the category page and then he go to the checkout and then he pay uh, the most important thing here is if someone if the visitor go into the checkout you if you do not see the money sign here so that means that he do not pay yet so you have to do something uh, if you go to the checkout page you have to do something maybe just uh, follow up sales call uh, or email him some coupon to make him buy the item he add into the chart he do not pay you still do not get the money yet so for this example, uh, example see, see he, he already check out he already pay and then he go to the home page again he, he want to find something extra so he go uh, he add this product into chart again so he review another uh, he review the classes again uh, he review the classes the classes uh, category and then he do not find anything but this product he do not pay yet he only pay for this product so you have to do something maybe offer him a coupon or uh, make a good deal with him so uh, this plugin actually is, is quite useful we can add something we want we can remove something we want from from here and then let me show you the product tabs the product tabs I like the most uh, the, the feature I like the most is here let's say I want to disable the product I only click it to enable or to disable it 
and then the rest I think the rest is the same uh, it will pull the data from the uh, custom post tab and then let me check it for you this one is the reports okay the reports have an overview here you see the the date how many visitors I get and then the order and then the goal and then all this really order product um, this will pull from the latest major update of uh, WooCommerce uh, two weeks ago WooCommerce did insert a new tab analytic for us to check our data there and then from here actually I like what I like the most is the category function let me show you something okay the category you see this one uh, you can filter click it up or down the default one will show you the most selling category like this one so I know that from this side uh, this category sell the most sell the most this is the data that I can get from from here and then the product yeah this is the most selling product most selling product basically we can uh, get everything from from the this plugin dashboard as well the pro the product view the product view this is the uh, most view product and then from the previous tab we can know the most selling product we can compare the data there and then do something okay thank you